Welcome viewers to Historical Journeys. The starting points of humanity have interested our most splendid personalities for innumerable hundreds of years. Through archaeological digs, specialists have sorted out a comprehension of our development from gorillas to homo sapiens. Also, however, there actually stay unfilled holes in our aggregate information, and new disclosure could hold the missing connect to humankind's rising and give new light on how we as a whole became. Specialists on Earth Day 3.8 million year old skull that might change the essence of mankind's set of experiences. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It only takes a second, and you won't miss any of our future videos. Let's get started. Fossils found in the space have revealed extraordinary insight into the rising of people. After all researchers on Earth, the well-known Lucy skeleton in 1974, just 18 miles from the site, an individual from the Australopithecus afarensis, species a relative of mankind that lived somewhere in the range of 3.9 and 2.9 quite a while back. The disclosure is one of paleoanthropology as most cherished relics. Unquestionably, Lucy was a significant example, particularly in helping how we might interpret how people advance to stroll on two feet. Be that as it may, researchers have had less karma with the progenitor of Australopithecus afarensis known as Australopithecus anamensis. The stepping stool hominin, which was first found in 1965, meandered the Earth around 3.9 to 4.2 a long time back. However, specialists have just recuperated teeth, jaw, and arm parts from the species. Strangely, the discovery was made by a goat herder by the name of Ali Moreno, who was digging in the area three miles from Miro Dora. Incredibly, Moreno had been building an expansion onto a goat pen when he went over a piece of jaw bone, known as a maxilla sticking out of the ground. Moreno then reached an administration official in the space who agreed that the Sias would bear some significance with Johannes Hale Selassie, co-head of a group digging at where Anso factory. For quite a while, Moreno had revealed fossil revelations nearby. However, at whatever point Hale Selassie had made the excursion to this area, he had don't track down anything. In any case, on this event, Hale Selassie welcomed Moreno to get this example since first studying the site in 2004. First in his group found 120 distinct rocks throughout the following couple of years, yet this stays perhaps of the main stone his group has at any point found. Edel Selassie was so moved by the piece that he strolled two miles to Marino's pen, looking for the remainder of the skull. Upon appearance, the ex looked through the region in a frantic endeavor to find the skull design, then saw the lacking riddle part standing out of the ground. In August 2019, Hale Selassie told National Geographic that when he found a piece of his skull, he passed out right away. In addition, his fortitude dazzled the heads of the banished government, Hale Selassie reviewed. He checked out at me and told his local companions what the specialists would do. Are you tipsy however more than anything, it gave the feeling that Hale Selassie had coincidentally found some game. He let CNN know that very month that he was unable to accept his eyes when he saw the remaining parts of the skull. This is quite possibly the main model we have found in the field. Hale Selassie got back to camp with his skull and upper jaw enclosed by a scarf and handkerchief. Naturalist and training author Stephanie Melillo reviewed her colleague's responses when she returned. I said I had never seen him so cheerful in my life. During the 16-hour date, the scientists analyzed layers of soil that contained a lot of goat droppings that had gathered over the long run. In any case, this grindy work drove the group to track down other remaining parts at the site. After cautiously returning the skull to its situation, the group then started dissecting the model. Specialists later recognized the bones as having a place with Australopithecus anamensa. Accordingly, this implies that the example they found is the very first Australopithecus anamensa skull found. A sort we're exceptionally acquainted with, Melillo told CNN. Be that as it may, it's the primary species to be found. It was nice of you, sir, to put your face on the oldest known skull. D is the message name. Furthermore, a portion of the MRDs will assist researchers with better comprehension, the eating regimen and conduct of the species, Australopithecus anamensa. Furthermore, the specialist had the option to recreate Mr. D take his skull, for instance. In doing as such, he found that the model was an astonishing mix of people and chimps. Haley Selassie let CNN know that the MRD has a bunch of eyes and peripherals that I never figured I would find in one individual. CNN reports that a group of international paleobotanists and geologists investigated the region where Trump's skull is situated. D. Through this action, they found a few intriguing realities about the town. In view of the dirt found nearby, specialists presumed that the MRD was covered in streaming water. This implied that people, for example, 
current warm-blooded creatures lived close to streams or different waterways. When the MRD test examination was finished, Hadel Selassie and his group continued on to decide the age of the example. To do this, they went to Mariner Beverly, who drove the group to study the dirt they found and aggregated a MRD stock by gathering soil tests from around the bones. Mariner and his team took samples and found radioactive potassium-40 particles. While this isn't as business as usual, this reality goes against a few recently settled speculations about Australopithecus anamensis. We must first consider the time period in which Anna's Australopithecines lived in order to contextualize this discovery. The most established known fossils of this species date from 4.2 to 3.9 a long time back. Be that as it may, Mr. D is remembered to trace all the way back to around 3.8 quite a while back. Obviously, Mr. D's disclosure fills in missing insights regarding the Australopithecine anamensis time period. As the Word and Plant Group report distributed in Nature noticed, the example fills an enormous hole in the fossil record and expands the species' life expectancy. In addition, it brings the species closer to its ancestors, Australopithecus afarensis. Specifically, the group highlighted a 3.9 million year old skull section, called the Blood Temple, found in 1981. This uncovered entrancing realities about our precursors and human advancement. Before the disclosure of de paleoanthropologists, it was generally accepted that people developed through a cycle called angiogenesis. Basically, this hypothesis recommends that our earliest predecessors shared a solitary heredity and developed into additional perplexing organic entities over the long run. This implies that one kind gets in shape with another sort. If Australopithecus afarensis lived 3.9 quite a while back, that implies Mr. This implies that the feminine sort Australopithecus ana, similar to D, existed simultaneously. Hedel Selassie revealed the discovery to CNN, noting that evolution used to be thought of as linear and took 100,000 years. Obviously, this has driven researchers to consider better approaches to grasp our precursors. Hedel Selassie goes on to say, how was the new race when the Guardians were still near? We feel that Australopithecus ana would ultimately advance into Australopithecus afarensis. Malolo let CNN know that while we actually think the two species are hereditarily related, this new revelation proposes that the two species have coincided in far-off places for quite a while. Malolo then, at that point, hypothesized about how the two species existed together, saying the revelation would change how we might interpret the transformative interaction and bring up new issues. The team looked at the places where these animals live to determine whether a species can emerge while its parent species are still present. Because of the distance between the settlements, it has been estimated that they lived in detached networks and advanced over the long haul. The dwelling together of Australopithecus afarensis and Australopithecus anamensis brought about significant actual changes. At the point when Australopithecus afarensis lived on the planet, Africa lost its backwoods and overwhelmed open spaces in light of the fact that the species started to walk up standing on two legs and adjusted to a new and complex eating routine. Yet specialists like Melillo accept there is more exploration to be finished. Naturally, there will be occasions when the two careers collide. Homo sapiens have for some time been remembered to have been liable for clearing out our nearest relatives, the Neanderthals, through fighting and the spread of irresistible sicknesses that permitted a portion of our earliest progenitors to blossom with different types of savagery. The team's great knowledge from MERD is the most important thing. With this disclosure, Hale Selassie and different researchers found another section to add to the tedious account of human development. A few researchers, for example, paleoanthropologist William Kimball of Arizona Express College Human Starting Points Establishment, accepted that ends must be drawn after the disclosure of additional fossils. He told Public Geographic that you must have a sufficient example size inside, constantly on plane certainly, and you can't major areas of strength for make about how things will be ready from only two models. Assuming their work is effective, anything that the result, it will be feasible to propel the time of Australopithecus afarensis. So the Muido group has previously made a revelation past their creative mind. Melillo made sense of in a meeting with Public Geographic that I was astonished to see the substance of this element that I definitely knew and that I had numerous considerations on. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay updated with our latest videos, subscribing is the way to go. Just click that red button below and become a part of our channel family.